I teach the children how to use natural, recycled and repurposed materials to create their wearable art piece. What I love so much about the project is the fact that the children often are not confident but they build up their confidence in the project and, and then to see their faces when they actually see the completed piece and the photo shoot and then it works on, moves on to the gallery which just brings a whole new confidence to, to them. This year we want people to slow down and, and look at the beauty that we provide. So on the table here we have a collection of, of the things that we used in our garment. We have um, our little dyes that we used or that we created through um, extracting the dyes from our leaves. So for example this one is from our macadamia. Um, the leaves are beautifully shaped, a little bit sharp and pointy, um, but when the, the dye extracts it becomes really nice and dark and deep and then fabric dyes up to a, a beautiful colour as well. that we were going to put on her and they are little turtles. Yes, it's a stingray. We made it out of air dry clay. have really enjoyed the wearable art project. They've come together and worked hard together. We've had very few arguments or fights, <laughs> so that's been good. And yeah, they've really enjoyed um, engaging with their culture and, and things. So this is our headpiece. Um, this is the sun and around it's going to be the planets. These are the planets for the headpiece. My favourite thing was weaving. My favourite thing was painting the cape. My favourite thing was painting. Well, my experience personally with the project is being able to work with Tammy on such a great like, art project and getting the kids telling us about their family, their totems, what their totems mean to them and transferring them onto their little dress with the hand prints and yeah. next to the creek, what is called Blue Water Creek, and what is our school is named after it. Our outfit is based on the land, like the sea, 
the outback, like the bushes and the mangroves. Hi, my name's Anthony and I made the necklace. Making the outfit was a lot of work. But it was lots of fun. Linda, my daughter Elias, um, they've done an amazing job. <laughs> she's loved every minute of it. I'm very proud that um, she's having this photo shoot today. And it's a great project. The kids have all enjoyed it from what I can see. Hi, my name's Nevaeh and I'm a part of Variable Arts. Um, it was really fun making it. We actually had an artist come in and they taught us how to weave. I think that was one of the best parts about doing it. Hi, my name's Peyton and I wanted to join this project because I um, like being Aboriginal and it's a part of my culture. that they were then going to translate into a lino print. Then we would print all the feathers and cut them out and put them on the outfit. The main, all the colours represent the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. It took us about a semester and a half to fin uh, nearly finish this our costume that we've made so far. We're presenting summer sun and winter sun. Uh, the girls are twins, so we thought it would be a great idea and they are amazing. My name is Leonte and global art is about, to me global art is about getting out of class and learning about our culture and learning how to do some other stuff. This is the summer painting that we did. 